Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Jess K. Rose, and today I'm presenting to you my 2016 Louis Vuitton Collection Damier Graffiti Edition. So first I wanna start by saying, obviously you guys know that the Damier Graffiti uh, canvas is part of the men's line at Louis Vuitton. And quite frankly, I feel like it is it is much like the monogram and the Damier Bean in that it's very versatile and unisex. I mean, I really enjoy the sleekness of the black and gray together. Um, I feel like it's versatile. I can carry it casually or I can carry it um, in a more um, dressed up uh, environment. And it's just like, I don't know, I just gravitate to it more than some of the other canvases. Um, I do have a small collection and so I wanted to share that with you guys today. Um, so starting out with the first piece, I purchased my first Damier Graffiti piece in 2011. Um, at the time I was uh, looking for something that I could travel, something that would be easy to um, carry on the plane or just throw in the back of my car if I was doing a quick trip, a road trip or, or, or what have you. And um, I, I decided that I wanted to get a duffel bag and I was a little bit torn because I had an opportunity to buy a, com a different brand at a very discounted price and um, or buy the bag that I wanted. Now, the key thing here that I learned is you should really never settle for something your, you, your heart doesn't really want. My heart wanted this one thing, but my mind was saying the price of the other thing is better, so I should go that route. And in essence, I ended up buying the, the less expensive bag and didn't even use it. Um, and so if I would have just been patient and saved a little bit more money, uh, I would have been able to get the one that I actually wanted. Now, hindsight is with Louis Vuitton, you can't really hesitate a lot because with them, you know, you never know. I mean, you have a general idea of when they have their price increases, but I really wasn't sure, you know, if I hesitate, the price will go up or what have you. Long story short, I could not stop thinking about this bag. And so I did eventually end up putting it in my collection. And that is the Keep All 45. Um, definitely a bag that I do not regret at all. It's a, uh, I think a, a staple piece from Louis Vuitton that if you're collecting luxury items or just want a very nice sleek uh, duffel bag or bag for travel, I highly recommend um, the Keep All 45. Um, the thing about Damier Graffiti uh, is that it only comes in the two sizes. And so um, thinking back maybe I probably could have went with the 55 it wasn't that much more money for that bag but I just you know at that time I was thinking this is smaller easier to carry I won't overstuff it like I do everything and um yeah I, I mean who knows maybe one day I'll end up putting the 55 in my collection as well so I can have a matching set but for now I, I feel like the keep all 45 is is the way to go if you're looking for a nice small travel piece that you can use for a quick road trip or just a quick flight um for two or three days worth of travel another piece that i wanted to add to my collection and hesitated on and wasn't really sure like if it was worth the money um and now thinking back i don't regret getting it now i did get hit with a price increase because of my hesitation but needless to say i'm glad i have it in my piece now in my collection now because uh, the, I did not spend what it is priced at today, which I'm very, very happy that I didn't wait too long. Um, and I just wanted a piece that would match my duffel bag. So I went ahead and purchased the Michael backpack. Um, this is an older model. As you can see, again, like I said, I purchased this in 2013 and it's changed a little bit um, since then uh, in terms of just how the design of it all. But for functionality and, and, and what I needed it for to be able to travel <clears throat> with work and, and travel light as lightly as possible. Uh, this was a great pickup for me. Um, definitely glad that I have it in my collection. Uh, the one thing I will say about it though is that it does get super heavy. If you put a laptop in here, um, your, your essentials for travel, uh, for work or whatever you're using a bag for it does get pretty heavy so not something that um 
I would necessarily travel on a plane with if I was go traveling for work casually. Yeah, if I'm just going on a random personal trip or, or something like that where I don't need my laptop and I don't need any electronics that I would carry for work, then absolutely a, a great travel bag. I love this piece. I love this I love it in this in this particular print it would be interesting to see it in a different canvas though um i'm not sure i think a damier a bean would be nice okay so then the next piece that i wanted to pick up was i was looking for a crossbody bag um something small but not as small as what they offer in the um women's line at louis vuitton um obviously you have the eva clutch you have the favorite uh some women even use the uh, pochette um pochette uh, accessoire as as a crossbody bag and that was a little too small um and so i headed over to the men's uh section and came across what i absolutely love and that is the uh district pm size uh, a piece that I I would I carry this all the time. Um, it for a while it was like my everyday bag. So if I wasn't using the the Speedy, I was going to this bag, especially when I needed to run errands, make some quick um, quick trips, um, traveling. It, it's just a great small piece that I can you know carry as it's a uh, crossbody. I'm able to fit in here all of my essentials plus my iPad or a book or, or what have you and again you know just a, a small enough piece to um, not get too heavy for just day-to-day -day, um, activity. Uh, probably the only thing that I would say about these type of bags in the men's line and, and when I say these type of bags I mean like the messenger style bags. Uh, if you're not going for the nice higher-end leather pieces um, I, I kind of feel like they skimp a little bit with the um, strap. Um, it kind of, it's a more rugged look I guess when they go with this fabric material here and where I don't mind it I think the the thing that kind of becomes annoying is the fact that it wears a lot quicker than it a, maybe a leather strap would have or I think they even have uh, another bag and I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head but the strap itself is it's like almost like a satin fabric something that would not really wick up against your clothing and, and things of that nature so that's probably the only negative thing i could say about this bag is that i wish it had a leather strap instead but overall a uh, very versatile piece glad i have it in my collection and definitely um served the purpose intended purpose of what i was looking for and actually it comes in uh i think all the other canvases if i'm not mistaken i've, I've definitely seen it in the monogram and the damia bean uh not sure about the other um Macassar I think is another one that it may come in but you know again I really wanted to keep a, a continuous theme going here instead of jumping all over the place with the canvases and all three of these pieces together is it just looks really nice really sleek and clean. Um, the next piece I purchased in 2013 um, and actually to think about it I purchased this right around Christmas into New Year's time frame and that is my <clears throat> Agenda MM uh, absolutely one of my favorite pieces it probably gets mo the most one of the most used pieces in my collection overall um, because it's my day-to-day -day planner um, I would have to say that if you are interested in an agenda cover because that's really all you're getting when you purchase it from Louis Vuitton. Um, go with start out with the MM size. I know a lot of women go for the PM size, and I don't know if that's because uh, the price point that it's at. Um, but I just don't find the PM to be very functional uh, unless you're going to use it as a wallet um, or just maybe you're going to use it as a as a as a notebook or something like that but as a planner um i don't think it's it's as functional as as most people would like it to be especially if you're someone that is into the paper planning um so i would suggest starting out with the mm size uh if you're going to purchase a louis vuitton agenda the other part of it is that i just kind of feel like with the damier graffiti print um I don't think it screams Louis Vuitton. I mean, I, for someone who knows Louis Vuitton or knows luxury items, then sure, they recognize it right away. But, you know, I just, I feel like 
this particular print for this carrying it around every day and or having it out on my desk you know i just i think that it really is low key and that's what i like about it and last but not least a piece that i've talked about in my other videos is probably one of my favorite and definitely my most used piece is my pocket agenda and damier graffiti now obviously a piece that i wanted to um match everything that i have i think again it doesn't scream louis vuitton i can put it in um any bag the versatility of it um being able to carry it in my pocket or throw it in any, any bag that i have large or small it fits it works um i can't say enough positive things about this piece um this i picked this up in 2014 um and it's um the only pre-love piece that i have in my collection um came across a guy who had purchased it in i think april 2014 and november of 2014 he's selling it and i'm like wow he never even used it so i pretty much picked it up practically new for a really good price um he even had his in initial stamped on that i don't know if you can see that or not let me see right here he had his initial stamp there and i was able to remove it with a little bit of acetone on a q-tip and have my initial stamped on it you know so again one of these one of these pieces this is a piece that i absolutely love could not do without it um and happy to have it in my collection so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video um i'm so glad i got a chance to finally put this out there i have been promising it for a while on to my instagram followers and to you guys here that subscribe so i definitely appreciate your patience um so with that you know please rate comment subscribe i hope you like this video and i look forward to bringing you more so until then take care <laughs>